Hey guys, I'm coming up back at you with another pick a card reading. Before I start the pick a card reading, I'd like to make a couple disclosures. Um, if you have any problems with my dogs being mentioned or my dogs being a part of my YouTube videos, this is not the channel for you. They are my emotional support pets. Um, if you have any problems with my rabbits being mentioned or being in the videos, this is not the channel for you. They are my emotional support pets. If you have a problem with my boyfriend at all accidentally entering the bedroom or being mentioned at all or our channels being mentioned at all, this is not the channel for you. He is my boyfriend for a reason. I live with him. If you have any problems with my carpal tunnel syndrome, keep it to yourself. This is not the channel for you if you have a problem with me having carpal tunnel while reading cards. If you have a problem with me reading from the book when um, I get a brand new oracle deck, then this is not the channel for you. Everybody starts somewhere. Everybody learns somewhere. If you plan to hate on anybody on this channel, whether it be the people that are listening to this reading or me, this is not the channel for you. At this channel, we come here with support, love, and acceptance of everybody and what they come with. To the table with so hate will not be tolerated on my channel nextly if you guys would like to check out my gaming stream i will be streaming on twitch at some point um bun bun winks doing some dead by daylight um and i will be playing with my boyfriend as well so you are more more than welcome to also check out his channel which is xx king ghost on twitch um he streams mostly dead by daylight if you guys would like to check out my TikTok, it's Bun Bun Winks. I also have an Instagram, Bun Bun Winks. I also have a joint TikTok if you want to see some fun gaming clips, if you like video gaming. Um, that's Bun Bun Winks underscore XX King Ghost. And we also have an Instagram that's Bun Bun Winks underscore XX King Ghost. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into the options. If you sat through this, I want to thank you because I appreciate all my viewers. I will be letting you know that I will be showing you all the cards by hand today because I'm still working on getting a tripod. Um, I'm, I've almost got all the money saved up for a cheap tripod from Amazon. So um, I'm working on it. So the cards will not be fully shown in the readings, but I will be showing you the cards by hand. Say I'll be picking up the cards and showing you like this by hand, okay? Um, so you will get to see the cards, but I will be showing them to you by hand. But let's get into the options, shall we? Okay. This is going to be pile number one, the kitty. This is going to be pile number two, the dragon. This is going to be pile number three the guinea pig if you guys need to pause you can take a moment to pause but I'm gonna go ahead and get right in with the readings all right so if you guys picked pile number one with the kitty this is your reading so let's get right into it pile number one I'm getting a channeled message while holding this kitty if you guys are recently practicing witchcraft or spirituality you will find your familiar your familiar will come to you if you recently got an animal whether it be a cat or something else this animal is your familiar if you're questioning whether it is your familiar or not okay if that's just a channel message for a couple of you okay all right so pile number one I'm going to set pile number two and pile number three right here. So we've got surrender, frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath. Center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Okay, you guys want to see that card again? This is the card. And then we've got forgiveness. Trust in the reverse and taking it in the reverse. 
believe in the impossible. Okay. Hold your vision. Emerging. Healing in the reverse. The Three of Cups. I think that's the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, yeah. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse, okay. Three, four, five, six, six of cups in the upright. Okay. And then the lovers. I am not quite hugely familiar with this uh, deck yet, so I'm still learning it. Oh, this is the Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, that's the Nine of Pentacles. Um, now that I'm looking at the one in, in front of the ten, gotcha. This is the Nine of Pentacles. And it was in the reverse. Okay, so this explains a lot. Okay, so I'm seeing that you are frustrated with somebody that broke your trust. Pile number one. They have completely broke your trust um, and... This person wants you to forgive them. I am seeing this person wants you to forgive them. But right now, you are in a moment where you don't know how to heal from the situation. You're kind of just emerging from this dark spot in your life where you felt like you had no stability. Because with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Pentacles can mean stability in the upright. So with it being in the reverse, I see it as you don't you didn't feel like you had stability. Um, and this person made you feel like you had even less stability when they broke your trust. Now, I am seeing this person may come to you and ask for forgiveness if they haven't already. But I feel like you are not so willing to forgive as easily as you want to. Um, now, if you guys are not wanting to forgive this person, I do. And, and they are a love connection. I do see another love connection coming in for you, pile number one, okay? I do see that coming in, but it won't come in until after you're kind of like um, starting to heal from these memories that are plaguing you from this person, um, causing you distrust, okay? And it's only when you're going to have forgiveness for trust. Okay, so I feel like you are being hard on yourself for trusting this person and you are unable to forgive yourself for trusting this person and this new person will come in when you are able to forgive yourself for allowing yourself to trust this person because you know see the thing is you need to forgive yourself for allowing yourself to trust this person because this person led you to believe that you could trust them and for a little while they did give you the impression that you could trust them and so it's only normal for when somebody gives you the impression that you can trust them for you to believe that you can trust them so I don't believe that you should be angry at yourself for trusting this person though I understand and empathize with why you would be angry at yourself for trusting this person because I know it can be rough to feel like you put all your trust and all your faith in a single person only for them to, you know, just destroy that trust and betray you. I understand that. You need to also focus on surrendering your frustration around this uh, situation because this frustration is making you manifest more disappointment into your life, more depression into your life. I feel like you're starting to emerge from that dark spot in your life to where you feel like, okay, well, maybe I can come out and get a couple things done, but I don't really know if I'm ready for love yet, but I, but I want love, but I don't really know if I'm ready for love yet. And I do see that when you guys are ready for love, you do have a love connection coming in to where 
this person is actually going to be very loving, kind, and tender to you. Um, I believe this person is going to be very empathetic towards you. Um, and as long as you keep your thoughts positive, this person will continue to be empathetic towards you. Now, keep in mind, everything in tarot is subject to change. So say, for example, you don't want to manifest this person in or you don't want to manifest the love in. You can literally tell yourself that you're not going to manifest love in and you can prevent yourself from manifesting the love in. So it's all up to you. Um, but you are being prompted to hold your vision for what you want. Um, fantasize about what you really want to happen in your life. Visualize what you really want to happen in your life. Um, visualization meditation may be healthy for you. This is when you can just kind of sit in silence and visualize exactly what you want happening so that it can happen. I feel like some of you don't believe that another lover could ever come in for you or that nobody could ever love you because of the way this person did you dirty. But I feel like this person that, that I see in the future will be willing to love you and able to love you to the fullest. But you have to believe it in order for the, to bring this person in. So if like, so like for example, if you want to bring this person in that is going to, that, that I see that that could possibly come in in the future, you need to believe that this person is going to come in for you and that you're actually going to find a, a new love, okay? But I am seeing new love coming for you guys. And if you guys don't want the new love, you can simply say that new love isn't coming in for you guys. You can simply say that love isn't coming in for you guys and you won't manifest it in. But if you believe that this new love will come in and this person will love you to the fullest, this new love will come in for you in the future. But right now, I'm seeing that your outcome is not completely stable with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So like I said, your outcome can change. It is very subject to change. Okay, I am seeing that you guys really need to get together with friends again you need to like I'm you guys may not have very many friends but if you do have friends you guys need to hang out with friends you guys need to talk with friends you guys need to make friends okay because it's going to be healthy for you because with this three of cups here I am seeing you will get gain some semblance of stability and happiness from just kind of like making yourself happy through new connections such as friends or even old connections such as friends it'll make you happier to actually be out and about and doing something with your friends but i am seeing that you will manifest happiness and love for yourself when you're willing to let it in i'm sorry that was out in the living room it happened like really loud out of nowhere um i apologize my boyfriend is streaming on his channel in the living room so i apologize for that loudness all of a sudden but um that's pretty much what i'm seeing for you but um in order to manifest stability in love for yourself you're going to need to keep a positive attitude and i'm also hearing one more thing i'm hearing is that you need to make your own happiness like don't rely on other people to constantly make you happy you because you don't want to end up not knowing how to make yourself happy so make sure you find ways to make your own happiness okay um that's definitely something that you need to do but that's all i'm seeing for you pile number one i'm going to move on to pile number two if this resonated please feel free to like and subscribe if you'd like to donate to my cash app it's bun the wub b-u-n-t-h-e-w-u-b um, but without further ado, I'm going to get ready to move on to pile number two, but I'm going to grab my coffee here because I'm getting a little thirsty, but we're going to move on to pile number two. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next pick a card. So if y'all pick pile number two with this little dragon here, this is going to be your pile. I'm sorry, my boyfriend's talking really loud out in the living room. Please ignore it. <laughs> um, he's streaming on his channel, so. And I'm streaming on my channel in here. So. 
we've got surrender worry okay finding well-being prosperity lies ahead take time to breathe out divine guidance trust the high priestess is this the four of cups I think this might be the four of cups yeah the four of cups I believe and <laughs> sorry I'm looking at the animation you see this I believe that's the three of pentacles and the page of swords okay okay so yeah so with this four of cups here I am seeing you are not seeing some of the opportunities that are coming to you in the future yet but you guys do have some opportunities coming to you in the future. I am sorry. My boyfriend's being really loud on his stream. But uh, I'm still going to carry on with the reading. So with the Four of Cups here, I am seeing that you guys are focused on one opportunity in particular. And you guys are not seeing these other opportunities that are going to be handed to you in the future. Or are being handed to you right now okay I feel like in order I feel like you guys need to do some healing okay and in order to do this healing you guys actually need to focus on your spirituality and your own intuition um, because your spirituality is actually what is going to make you feel more content and more happy and you know you see this cat with a witch hat on if you guys want to practice witchcraft to help you with your self-confidence, you are encouraged to do it. If you guys want to practice witchcraft to bring about good stuff for you, you are encouraged to do it. If you guys are are um, planning on doing a money spell or are trying to manifest money, you guys are going to be manifesting money coming in. You guys have a lot of money coming in for you. You guys have a lot of prosperity coming in for you. You guys have a lot of good luck coming your way. Um... But you guys also need to take time to breathe out and surrender any worries or fears right now. Because um, if you guys focus too much on your worries or fears, you can actually manifest them into your reality. So and, and also manifest more anxiety for you. So you guys are being called to um, kind of put your worries aside and do things that make you happy. Um, and you are also being called to refine yourself because I feel like, I feel like you guys lost yourself and I feel like you guys may think spirituality is going to help you. And for some of you, you're being called to focus on spirituality because spirituality saved you in the past from a very dark time. And others of you, you're just being called to focus on your spirituality because it will help you through your rough times and it will help you actually find yourself and who you are inside. Now, I feel like you guys may have lost track of who you are and didn't really know who you were and you guys were having trouble listening to divine guidance. I am seeing that you guys are actually going to be able to get more divine guidance and more divine guidance will be coming in for you and you guys will actually your intuition is going to be strengthening because with this high priestess here and this divine guidance i feel like you're actually going to hear guidance coming in for you or feel guidance coming in for you okay um because i'm he hearing a clear audience or clear sentience um for some of you um, so for some of you, you may just um, 
or even in, even clear cognizance for some of you you may get an idea and this is divine guidance and some of it some of your ideas may um uh be around spirituality okay and you those ideas that around spirituality that you're getting are ideas that you're supposed to follow okay because it's divine guidance coming in from a higher power um now you need to put trust in yourself okay you need to put more trust in yourself and you need to put more trust in uh certain situations in your life that are given to you to help you okay because there may be situations in your life that are given to help you whether it be you being forced to be alone and do some stuff on your own or not this is actually to help you with your attachment issues and you need to trust these situations that are coming in so these situations where you're forced to be alone and you're fo forced to just work on yourself and all of that and you get an idea to focus on your spirituality during these times or alone these alone times are the best time to focus on your spirituality but these alone times that you are actually getting are to actually help you build the life that you want build the confidence that you want um because with this three of pentacles here with the well-being i feel like this is going to actually help you build your confidence in yourself because you're going to see your worth through your spirituality through what you're doing through your gifts um and for some of you there are some friends that want you to reach out to them because with this three of pentacles here Sometimes this can be building with others, not just building um, a st stability for yourself, but also building a foundation with others as well and working together with others. Um, so I feel like there are some friends that want to reach out to you, want to spend time with you, want to talk to you. They want you around. But I also feel like you guys are going to be gaining some stability in the future. Um, I'm seeing within the next three years, you guys are going to have some stability coming in for you because pentacles are years. So I am seeing it as within the next three years with that three of pentacles there. Some of you may have a decision to make within the next four months with this four of cups here um because cups are months so i am seeing that there could be a decision based off your well-being in about four months for you that you may have to make so just be aware of that for some of you it could be three to four months um and it could just vary on when you're going to have that because with the three and the four here i am seeing it could take three to four months now with the page of swords there is somebody that wants to communicate with you. And I feel like this is through a friendship level. They want to talk to you. They want to show you that you are worth it. And then for some of you, there is actually a person. Okay, so with this page of swords, if you look at how guilty this cat looks, like he's doing something wrong, pulling something down from up there. I don't know if you can see that. Put it up closer. See how he's kind of pulling something down from up top? And he looks guilty. So there is somebody that feels guilty for something they've done to you that actually wants to communicate with you. So just be aware of this. They want to try and work on things with you, but they're not sure how to do it. And for others of you, there, well, others of you, uh, I am seeing that there is a friend that really wants to communicate with you and show you how much you're worth, like, let you know how much you're worth that you are like worth the world for some of you there is a friend out there that believes you are worth the world to them okay um because like i don't know i'm drawn to this thing with this divine cards guidance card here okay so i feel like the person okay so the person that thinks because this is a divine guidance card right but if you see this person thinks that you are like just you mean the world to them okay and this person that you that that means that that you mean the world to them tries to give you divine guidance okay i am really seeing that and you are also being told by the divine 
daily through whatever you're doing or even your thoughts that you are in control of your reality and that you are in control of everything and that you have the world in the palm of your hand because that's the other thing I'm seeing with this divine guidance card. You have the world in the palm of your hand. You can manifest anything you want. And I feel like some of you know this. Um, but some of you don't know how to manifest exactly what you're trying to manifest. So I would seriously, if you guys do pray or work with deities, um, talk to your deities. Talk to whoever you want to talk to right there. Or just meditate if you don't have any deities, if you don't believe in God, if you don't believe in any kind of higher being. Like really meditate and think about what you need to do to manifest the situation better. Maybe even check out some manifestation people on YouTube. But the thing is, remember, positive thoughts bring positive outcomes. Negative thoughts bring negative outcomes. And you need to really think about like what you can do to manifest the world that you want because I'm seeing that you guys have the world in the palm of your hands but you only have to use the right aff affirmations to manifest exactly what you want and then you'll get them but that's all I've got for you pile number two if this resonated please feel free to like and subscribe if you would like to reach out for a personal reading you can reach out to me on bun bun winks on instagram keep in mind i will never reach out to you first i will always let you reach out to me first i will never come to you saying that i feel a connection to you and offering you a reading if anybody does that it's a scam if you guys would like to donate to my cash app it's bun the wub that's b-u-n-t-h-e-w-u-b um, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number three. Um, but first I'm going to get a drink of my coffee here and then I'll move on to pile number three. Mm. That's good. Some hazelnut coffee. All right. So if y'all picked pile number three, this is going to be your reading. All right, so pile number three, we have surrender to your full power. Manifestation, closure, conclusions are within reach. And I came out in reverse, and I think I should take it in reverse, okay? Luck is on your side. Playfulness. This came out in the reverse. You want to see it in the upright? This is playfulness. And it came out in the reverse. Then we've got romance. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse the two of swords in the reverse I'm trying to see this looks like the five of pentacles Five of Pentacles in the upright. I think that's Five of Pentacles. No, that's the four, Five of Swords. My bad, because of all the scratches. That's the Five of Swords. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a newer deck, so I'm still learning it. And then we got the Moon card. So that was the Five of Swords in the upright. Okay. So what I'm seeing for you guys is I'm seeing you guys are dealing with a lot of in, inner conflict. And you guys don't know your full power yet, okay? You guys don't really realize how powerful you are yet because there have been things that have made you feel powerless in the past, okay? 
completely powerless, like you couldn't do anything about it. Like you were just stuck in stagnant land, okay? And it made you feel unstable, okay? Ten of Pentacles in reverse, to me, can signify instability. To me, it could also signify with the moon card here that there were some secrets within romance that made you feel in, uh, unstable and not not as confident as you should be within yourself, okay? And the reason why I'm saying that is because the moon came out right below the romance, the way I set the cards down, okay? So I feel like there may have been some secrets in a past love where you broke up with this person already. This is somebody that you closed out with. You close out a cycle with this person. You broke up with this person. You left this person, okay? Because with that closure card there, you left this person. Okay, so from this past relationship, this past relationship created an instability in your mental health, your physical health, and your all-around stability. Because this person kept secrets from you. They lied to you. They didn't really tell you the truth all the time. They kept a lot hidden from you. And this created so much inner conflict for you that you lost a lot of confidence and you felt stagnant. Well, with this two swords in reverse here, you're being called to get out of the stagnant. Okay? Because the two swords in the upright does rep represent stagnance, uh, stuck, being stuck in place. But with the two swords in reverse... I am seeing you need to come out of this stagnant and heal yourself, heal your inner wounds. Because with the swords here, this is mental conflict, inner conflict. Some of you guys may have mental problems uh, due to this person, whether it's PTSD or some of you guys may have other mental problems going on. But I am seeing some mental illness here. I am not discriminating about against that. I do have mental illness myself, so I will never discriminate against somebody with mental illness. Or mental health problems but I am seeing there are some mental health problems here and I feel like you've had a lack of fun in your life because we've got the playfulness in reverse and with this lack of fun in your life it's created more inner conflict for you more feelings of you don't even want to get out of bed you don't want to do anything you don't want to get anything done because we've got conclusions are within reach in reverse and I'm seeing this as like you don't want to get anything done because you're so depressed you're so messed up in the head because of everything that's been going wrong in your life and what this is a messages from Lilith reading what Lilith wants you to know is that you can manifest a better life for yourself okay luck is on your side when it comes to manifestation and with surrender to your full power and manifestation here I feel you are being guided to surrender to your full power through manifestation, through positive affirmations, through learning to believe in yourself. And I know, I know you can say, I don't know how to believe in myself. I can't do that. Yes, you can. You can believe in yourself and you can manifest you to believe in yourself. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard to, to really force yourself to believe in yourself some days, but you have to push forward and tell yourself, no, I will believe in myself. I can believe in myself and I can manifest a better life for myself and I can manifest goodness for myself. And you know what? Then you're going to manifest goodness for yourself. If you, if you feel like you don't have enough money to manifest happiness, sit out and say, I always have enough money. I'm not worried about money. I can manifest more money. I can bring more money into my life. I can get a pay raise. I can make sure I always have money all the time. I know how to budget. I'm good on a budget. I can budget to the point to where I have a little bit of money left over for myself. Say all those affirmations. And you will manifest the abundance that you want, the money that you want. But I feel like positive affirmations are something that you need to do daily. And I feel like some of you, you guys just kind of want to stay in bed and not do anything. And you guys, if you're watching this reading, you came to this reading feeling like you needed to hear it, like you were drawn to it. Because if you guys picked pile number three, you guys were drawn to this reading. 
and you feel like, hey, well, I don't know, let's see what it has to say. And now you're seeing what it has to say. And this is the path that you need. You need to, don't take this personally, but you need to get up off your butt, go get in the shower, pull yourself together, say some positive affirmations, make yourself feel beautiful, make yourself feel worthy, make yourself feel like you are worth something. Do one thing that makes you happy every day. Do one thing that makes you believe in yourself every day. Do one thing that makes you feel productive every day. And that's how you're going to help manifest the fact that you are worthy of whatever you want. But that is all I've got for you, pile number three. If you'd like to reach out to me for a personal reading, I am Bun Bun Winks on Instagram. Keep in mind, I will never message you saying that I have a connection to you and I would like to give you a reading. Okay, if anybody does that, it's a scam. Do not give money to them unless you know it is me. Okay, so um, if you guys would like to donate to my cash app, it's Bun the Wub. B-U-N-T-H-E-W-U-B. Um... If you guys would like to refer my channel to somebody else or think that it would help somebody else, you can feel free to let people know about my channel. And uh, the more likes I get on my posts, the more it helps my channel grow. Um, the more comments I get on my posts, the more it helps my channel grow. So I appreciate any viewers that have come to my channel and thank you for watching because you know what even you viewing the video helps my channel grow so i would like to thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next pick a card reading i do have more pick a cards coming up and um obviously january horoscopes will be coming up at some point too as soon as i get the chance so uh at the end of uh the month so i will see you in those readings as well so I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.